Uh, why is it that moderate Muslims shy away from spreading their ideology in the same fashion? Uh, why do moderate Muslims insist on having the pseudo church of scholars to smother them? Well, one of the issues when you read my book, I suggest that you not try to get it free. I have house papers, so <laughs> let's try to do something with that. Okay? Remember, this is the ideal evil. Whatever the E comes, I get it. I say this to all kinds of religious communities. But in any case, the fact is that indeed, there is, in Islam today, as many of you know, the, the reformers in Islam are not just the traditional ulama. They are, in fact, lay intellectuals uh, who are both conservative, a traditionalist, like uh, Abdul uh, Quran Murad, uh, 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 Tim Timothy Winter, um, uh, people like Tarek Ramadan, uh, they're uh, people like Nikola Shmajin. Uh, they are ulama, but they're ulama who are traditionalists, but they're also ulama like the Grand Mufti of Bosnia, trained at al Azhar, but also trained at the University of Chicago. Uh, there are more and more men and women. I think that's out there. I think that's coming, but I think it's going to take a while for it to come. And obviously, the more conservative religious establishment, not all, resent that challenge to their authority, the religious authority, and their influence in the community. And that, that becomes an issue. But, but these things are changing. We, we have situations now where, where women are scholars of Islam and are as, as, you know, uh, as equivalent as men, where women lead study groups, where women uh, lead certain prayer groups. Uh, there are women being trained in a number of countries to be Muslims uh, uh, in countries like Egypt, Syria, uh, Indonesia, uh, Turkey. Uh, so there, there are a lot of, uh, 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 there's a lot of change afoot. And I think there's going to continue to be a lot of debate in the community.